Well, good morning and a rather belated welcome to the 2024 season. Like a lot of the UK, it's, it's been a little damp down here in Devon. And although there's been the odd day when people can get out, they haven't lined up with my weekends when I can go and fish. So this is the first opportunity for me. And I think it's probably one of the latest opening days I've ever had barring the lockdown year. Now I did have a bit of an intro sort of worked out in my head, but now that I'm here, I think I'm just gonna go and start fishing. Right, well I'm starting with just a very basic duo setup today. I did think about using the tight line nymphing stuff, but then I thought, after such a long layoff, what is it you really want to do, Chris? And I want to cast a fly line, I want to watch a dry fly come down the stream, so this gives me a chance to do that, and still being with a, a realistic option of catching a fish. This pool's completely changed. Look at it up through there, through. This used to be a real deep run down through here. I presume that tree that's blocked it has changed it all. It's actually quite a shallow little ripple now. Mad. It's going to be an interesting thing, I think, this year, to see how everything's changed. Considering the river's been in flood for six bloody months. There must be a lot of stuff moved, a lot of pools gone and new ones created. I somehow doubt the fish are going to be in this faster water. It's been so cold. The whole spring's been cold. I think it's only 10 degrees today. It is nice to be back though. Yeah, I'd say it's this big mess here. Pushed all the water, isn't it, down that side of the bridge. I just left the beach on the other end. It isn't coming out very easily, is it? I had quite a good fish out of there last year. That pool's just gone, isn't it? Full of tree. Well, no fishy activity to describe yet, but that's not surprising, really. I'm here a bit early, to be honest. If anything's going to happen, it'll be around the middle of the day. Look at this here, when the floods come through. Let's turn this into almost a right angle now. Must have been absolutely raging when it was really high. It's been out in the fields a few times through the winter, so see how high the bank is here. Been close to being above my head, I should think. Well, it's not a very big fish, but it is the first one for the season. Oh, that has come out of the net. That's nice. That's a little, little car. Oh well, maybe things are looking up because I just... I missed a better fish in that pool as well. Which I saw turn under the water as I struck far too hard and far too fast. It'll take a while to get back into it. I've got to say, the casting is proper ropey at the moment. I've worked out it must be second week of October, last time I cast. I know I should have been practicing, but I haven't. Yeah, I mean, I'm getting the line out, but it's not very accurate. I've been in the trees a few times already. It's 
see this pool has all changed too. That was a really deep hole in there. I can see the bottom now. It's only about a foot deep. Here we have the standard Devon suspension fence. You can see on a lot of our rivers. Big massive tree that was here though. You used to have to walk around. See that's all gone. They dumped something in the, the head of the pool up there. That's another thing with the conditions that we had this winter. Almost virtually no work parties. Be able to get out, and do any of our bank tidying. I think they managed about six. Just been far too dodgy to get in the river. I mean, I did plenty of crazy wading when I was younger, which I do look back on and think, oh my God, but I wouldn't do it now. Another little tiddler. God, what's freezing. I was rather hoping it was going to warm up by the middle of the day, but it's actually clouded and the wind's got up. I think it's got colder. Wishing I'd brought a bloody jumper now. I'm going to have to check the footage from last year, but I'm pretty sure this tree up here used to be sticking out and you'd cast underneath it. So it must have given up the ghost finally and fallen into the river. Making a lovely bubble line there, though. Already now see some fish rising in it. But I think that might be wishful thinking today. Let's look at all the wild garlic in here. Isn't that a picture? What a shame the sun's gone in. It would look even better, I think, on the camera in that. It's actually changed the whole feel of the day now. Cold, wind, cloudy. Yesterday when I was working, it was bloody glorious. Mm -hmm. Fairly pungent. <laughs> oh, finally it hooked something slightly better, I think. And not where I was expecting it at all. Right up in the top of the pool in the faster water. It'd be up there. Oh, nice fish. Yeah, well that's made that's made it worth coming out, isn't it? That's a fly. Come on. Oh, it's all wrapped up, that's what it is. Right, let's sit there a minute. There we go. Well, that's answered the condition about the... Sorry. 
that's answered the question about the condition of the fish, isn't it? Oh, lovely. Oh, probably should have measured that. Okay, I'll say about nine. <laughs> totally out of practice. <laughs> Well, that ain't coming out with a bow saw and a pair of loppers, is it? Bloody hell. Right, I'm not, I'm not sure if I imagined it, but I think I just saw a fish rise. It's over under that tree over there. It could have been something falling out of the... Oh no, definitely that they are. That was a rise. So I've switched to a dry fly. I've put a dark olive comparadon on. Can we get it in there? There's plenty of a tree got... No, no. It's just too much tree everywhere. Okay. Definitely was a rise. It's the best that I could do, I didn't want it. I've just seen a big hawthorn go down. Is it that? a shame. The trouble is this time of year you're not going to get many chances and you're not going to get a very long rise either it's like could be a few minutes. I, know, I might have put this fish down but nothing else rising in this pool. I had that I had one, one chance and I stuffed it in the tree behind me. And that was it. I don't know. What a shame. Oh well, I think I might just have 10 minutes fishing up through this pool with the dry fly and then I'm going to go. And I think this might be what the, all that fish was rising to. There's a few coming down the stream, I'm surprised there's not more trout coming up for them really. I mean I'm fishing a hawthorn imitation and there's absolutely nothing yet so I don't know it's still too cold maybe for them to be active I don't know I'm expecting to see a few fish rising when they're about that I tend to love them well I think that's me done then for the first trip of 2024. I had a good look round at some other pools where I know fish rise but to no avail. It seems like I had that one shot and I mucked it up but maybe could have done better to stay with the duo setup but if you see a rising fish you, you've got to go for it really haven't you. I don't actually feel like I've fished very well really but I suppose that's not surprising after six months off is it. Right, well I'll catch you next time.